Today, we're bringing you an update on progress on our next generation software from SDR Play. We would like to introduce SDR Connect, which is in fact a complete rewrite of SDR Uno. And today we're going to demonstrate for you the underlying core DSP technology behind it. A complete rewrite of SDR Uno was needed to achieve our goal of multi-platform capability. So much so that we decided that the new software would have a new name. It will now be known as SDR Connect. But don't worry, if you prefer the older version of SDR Uno, we will continue to support the later versions for the foreseeable future. As I say, it will be cross-platform and will run on x86, ARM, Mac OS, Linux, Windows and Android platforms. In addition, we are adding new remote server and client capability which will also work cross-platforms. This will allow you to access your RSP from anywhere, either on your home LAN or across the internet. The GUI is being completely rewritten to make it much more consistent than SDR Uno and much more intuitive and easy to use. It will include the much requested feature of the ability to lock panels together. SDR Connect will retain compatibility with all the current RSP family, that's the RSP1A, the RSPDX and the RSP Duo. As well, it will continue to be compatible with the RSP2 and RSP2 Pro, which have now been discontinued. However, due to hardware limitations, it is not possible to support the RSP1 in SDR Connect. However, the later versions of SDR Uno will continue to be supported for the foreseeable future for people that own and still use the RSP1 original model. In today's demo, we're looking at the core underlying technology behind SDR Connect. The DSP engine has been totally rewritten to make it cross-platform and indeed we'll be demonstrating it running on Mac OS. In addition, we'll be showing network capability across the internet. I must stress that this demonstration is just the core technology. The new graphical user interface, which will retain the style and popular features of SDR Uno, along with a much more improved, consistent and easy to use interface, is still under development. So today's demonstration is truly global. We are running the SDR Connect client native on Mac OS here in Dayton, Ohio, and we are connecting to an SDR Connect server with an RSPDX located back in the UK. For the demo, we're using an M1 Mac Mini, i.e. the ARM architecture, using Mac OS Monterey. Now let's start up the SDR Connect demo. Here we see the main RF spectrum and waterfall displays. In the upper half of the screen we have the main spectrum and in the lower half of the screen we have the expanded auxiliary spectrum. If you've used SDR Uno you will notice the appearance is very similar to what you're already used to. As we tune into this particular frequency you will see in the auxiliary spectrum that we have a symmetrical passband around the VFO frequency. Of course, at 40 meters, what we really want to see is lower sideband. So we can click to go from AM to upper sideband to lower sideband. Started running 10 watts on AM. Well, that's there, you got a big pile up. Cheers, and Oh, cheers there, Barry, and uh, hey, enjoy that, uh, enjoy that radio. Hey, Barry, we'll catch you again. All the best. Uh, G3 uh, TPP uh, from Kevin M0, Kilo Victor Kilo. Cheers and beers, Barry. Cheers, all the best. You'll have to forgive my indulgence here, but while we're looking at the demo, I'd like to go down and look at Longwave. Radio 4 on 198 kilohertz was always a favorite station, and uh, here we see tuning into it on John's uh, RSP back in the UK. So once again, with Radio 4 playing in the background, I would like to emphasize that we are just showing the core DSP functionality of SDR Connect. And now that this has been completed, which was the major task for a true multi-platform solution, our software team is now working on wrapping up the GUI to go around it and reintroduce some of the other features that you are familiar with and desire to have in this exciting new piece of software. And fine. 
So to recap, what we've shown right here is the core DSP engine of SDR Connect running on a Mac. In addition, we've also demonstrated networking capabilities by being connected to a remote RSP located in the UK. So the big question is, when can you get hold of SDR Connect? Well, we're on track for a release by the end of this year and we're rushing to get it out to you as soon as possible. I'm sure you're going to be as excited to get your hands on it as we are in developing it. To get continuous news updates, they can be found at our website www.sdrplay.com.